What up dog? And that is exactly what we're covering today, the up dog. And I can tell from the reaction of my cameraman that that is one of my worst jokes. And let me tell you, there's been some pretty good bad jokes in this room. Anyone who's been to my class will tell you that. And I feel like I've segued so much from what I was originally going to say. I'm coming back to it. We are covering the up dog today. How not to do it and how you should be doing it. Today all you need is your mat, yourself, your awesomeness. And as always, the hat's optional. We'll see you out there. into it so this is going to be an unusual way to do it but what I'm going to do is show you how upward dog can be done wrong and then refine it as we go from there so I'll sit up in, in a bad position as bad as I can and you'll be surprised to how often this is done few people do all of these things but um, most people do at least one of them so the first problem we have here as you can see is the neck and the shoulders just are really struggling here so what we want to do is really elongate the neck out of that. Now, the gaze, isn't that important that we look up? If that hurts your neck or you, know, you have any neck problems, then by all means, keep it vertical, but keep it nice and elevated out the shoulders. And what can help with that too is really pressing into the ground through the shoulders and the arms. So take those shoulders, roll them back, press them into the ground, and get some elevation out of that neck. So as I look to the side here, I can see I've got a little more space if I want put my head up to the sky. Also feel what's going on in the elbows. The elbows bent are going to make this a lot harder to do because it becomes muscular then. You want to really press out of those elbows and into those hands so they're really working hard. Remember shoulders not closed, chest not closed, nice and open, nice and proud in this position. Bring the weight not just into the heel of the hands but into all aspects. Once again we talk so much about the hands being an active part of these poses. Now just from being in this position I can feel my lower back starting to hurt. You can probably see from this angle here, it's super crunched over there. So we want to make sure we get away from that. Two things we can do here. First, we lift up the hips and we really reach through that chest. The next thing, flats of the feet down. So your thighs should be lifted as well as your hips. Now in this position, I can feel a lot more work going on and it feels a lot more comfortable. Last thing, gaze goes up, open up that chest and we shine through. Gaze slightly up and we come all the way back down here. So from doing it badly I can really feel my lower back starting to hurt. We want to really protect that by making sure we do it correctly guys. Engage the thighs, engage the glutes and make sure we stay on the top of the feet. I hope that's been helpful for you guys today and uh, if you've liked this make sure you subscribe uh, in the links and also check out for any other videos that may be helpful to you and if there's a pose that we've left out or you don't see there that you want to see, then make sure you let us know and we'll make sure we get it on there. I'm the Down Doug, you've been awesome, we'll see you next time.